This is not an attack on the United States or the UK. America, a place I previously lived, a place that have changed the way I see the world. I'm going to go downtown. I'm going to go down now. Take the train. And I'm going to go downtown. I met interesting people. What's your name? Adham. Adham. The people here are so amazing. Oh my God. So what do you want to say? COVID-19. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Taiwan. Baby guy. <laughs> Move around interesting places. America, let's face it, it's a superpower, and no country can match it, like it or not. But in recent years, you have seen insane things, unsafe racism. Police brutality, you know, you can't go home not looking your shoulders. Who might come behind you and snatch your phone or snatch your bag or beat you down to death. You know, America in some states, it's totally unsafe. You can't go out past 7pm. It's a sad place at times. Yeah, obesity and all those other things. Insane traffic, mass shooting. Yeah, the list goes on and on. And then again, America is a wonderful place, diverse, rich in culture, full of many, many fascinating things. But the thing is, when you look at safety, healthcare, it's poor, it's awful, it's terrible. And coming from a place, the United Kingdom, where we have free access to healthcare, which I must say, it's slow, but at least we have it. For the monorail to ride. So safety here. Yeah. Look, maybe it's open now. These stores are under construction. Will remain open, okay? So there's so many danger. You should be aware of when you're in Kuala Lumpur. Whether it be like a hot climate, and also when it comes to like you know eating around the food, it's too deadly. I mean, in a sense, it's too good. <laughs> is going to rise. I've got other plans and uh, I'm constantly doing things every single day. I'm not bored at all of doing things and I truly love traveling Malaysia. Even regardless of some things I will encounter, I, I'm, I'm such a strong-minded person, right? And I can survive on my home or whatever oh it's, it's, it's actually pouring down now quick thing it's like it started raining again like literally but it started to drizzle a little bit again and the you know, thing is ah uh, i want to go and i don't want to go right safety you know what i'm trying to find a way to cross this road first because i can't see any predestined crossing maybe i just have to be brave i just have to look on my left because the cars are coming from this side so safety on the road i think since i'm i'm in the street so i think it's best for me like i talk about road safety so in malaysia oh i'm gonna have to go into the shopping mall now oh it's it's pouring down now and uh i have to cross the street oh yeah let's try to go inside the mall maybe the rain might seize up a little bit and then you never know maybe i might make a dramatic um u-turn and head to that pack 
Uh, but for now, but it's raining, so of course I have to wait and you know, let's say I'll monitor the weather and if anything change. So yeah, um, road safety, you don't have to worry really. Like in Malaysia, they have a lot of them, um, uh, basically a pedestrian designated crossing, even on the bicycle side as well. And then you can ride your bike, but it's not as broad, right? It's not, you don't see a lot of people biking, but of course um, it's, it's improving in Kuala Lumpur, right? And also across Malaysia. I think Malaysia is a great place, like if you want to do some biking and all, and all that. I think it's brilliant in that apartment. And uh, yeah, so, but you have to understand, like um, people drive here differently, right? You will also encounter a lot of um, motorbike on the road. And uh, I think the rain stopped again. I think this is the thing about Malaysia, the weather. It's mad. Now, let's switch to the weather. The weather here is insane, you know? And during the rainy season, it, it will rain throughout the day. And also, there's tons of strike, right? So you have to understand that. But Malaysia, I wouldn't say like they are exposed to nat natural disaster all the time, like severe flood. I don't, I don't really, I don't really witness that yet. And, but in terms of like general safety, yeah? So you don't have to worry about the general safety here in Malaysia, so to be honest, like, yes. You go into a mall, you see a police officer with holding a rifle, a rifle yeah, a pistol, or whatever. <laughs> You'll be like, what the? What's the point, man? People seem very abide to the law, right? So basically, I like, walk at night, but I wear something expensive, like right? jewelry, Apple Watch, phone exposing like that. I look like the proper tourist, right? And I've got expensive stuff on me, and then basically, I don't have to worry. Oh, I don't have to look at my shoulder, right? Of course, then um, in the UK, I've spot some districts like basically you feel completely safe. But in generally, when you're in the UK and in America, right, you just have to watch it. Of course, then um, people in the UK and America they're also flexing while wearing something expensive. But it's not advisable like to stay out so late, especially around 12 o'clock, and you're walking in dark alleys, basically, and you're wearing all this expensive stuff and um, most likely in the west like you might get encountered you might encounter one of these people who might want to take that thing away from you right so yeah in terms of that i think um well it's just quite safe really really safe i mean but hands down I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed you know like when you sit down so basically you're trying to like get a dinner or something like that and then you're seeing someone come up to you trying to sell your a sweet or trying to tell you like a church light or something like that or something trying to beg you and it's not a pretty thing of course begging on homelessness is a thing that is happening globally right and before when I was here I didn't experience any of that like in terms of like beggars I did saw some but it's not in the scale that it is now the homeless crisis in America is worsening again the COVID pandemic caused a surge in housing costs and a rise in unemployment leaving nearly 600,000 Americans unhoused in 2020. Look at homelessness in America. It's shambolic. It's absolutely beyond belief. Drug addiction in Philadelphia. America, wake up. The American dreams you know about, maybe it's time to say it's faded and outdated. All my vision is wide ranging and traveling is the pinnacle to all my exploration. Yeah, it takes me to extraordinary places like Malaysia. Malaysia, the Malay, the Indian, the Chinese. Malaysia, yeah, predominantly Muslim states. And for some people in America who have never left or ventured out beyond borders, they might have this picture of Muslim country as terrorists, full of, you know, evil people. But in reality, you come to Malaysia, you feel safe. You don't have to worry because the people will take very good care of you. And of all my experience exploring this majestic land of Kuala Lumpur or Malaysia, I felt safe. And I think it's far safer, way safer combine those two majestic and significantly important country in the world, the UK and the United States. Yeah. I said it. Okay, don't be fool, don't be naive, don't be foolish. Because wherever you go, there are evil people. There are crimes you need to watch out for. Malaysia is not a la la land. Surely it has its problem. Racism 
is one but it's quite dull compared to America where it's more of a physical thing. Throughout my time in this country I've never seen no one shouting or screaming or fighting on the street or you know someone come up to me and call me names. I've never experienced such things and I've never seen foreigner in any such problem. It's always good, always a good experience. So yeah, I reiterate, Malaysia based on my experience it's far safer than my own country, the United Kingdom and also America, far far safer. And then again, I'm not trying to bot praise or trying to get the Malaysian people to like me because I'm far from that. I'm a man that explore places and tell the truth. If you appreciate the truth, then let me know. Comment down below and of course, stay tuned for more exploration across Asia.